I need to get her getting music to be playing. Yeah, go, 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 ladies. Hello, hi, hi, guys. How are you? How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. I'm pretty excited about today. It's almost 4 p.m. and we're going to be having our guest. Hey, Dami. Mwah, mwah. Thank you, Dami. Dami was here this morning. She brought me banana bread. Is there more banana bread? Please, can I have some? Let me just honor Dami Lola Olaya today. She brought me this lovely banana bread today. The whole family has had some, and I'm going to keep having some. But I'm, I'm pretty excited about today. Thank you guys for joining in. And the reason why we're discussing submission, let me tell you why. Um, as a girl, as an African girl, you learn submission. They tell you in your family, life, uh, life learnings in schools, in, ch in churches, in mosques, you're told to submit. You know, they tell us that Ephesians 5, they've drilled it into our brain. So we know that submission is what is expected of us. But it's when you now enter the marriage. When you enter the marriage, you now realize that this submission is in different levels. Though. Submission is in different levels. And um, that's why it's important to bring in role models, people who we admire, who we respect, people who are there and we know that they have successful homes. And let us see exactly how they confronted many of these issues. Thank you. I think mind is based right. How they confronted many of these issues in life, you know? So it's important that we have conversations with people we admire. That's one of the reasons why I got in these two amazing women that we love and um, have a real life down to earth conversation with them um, on exactly when we confront issues of submission in marriage, how do we handle it? Especially now that things are different. You know, we all know the equilibrium in the homes have changed. It's not like before where we knew that daddy used to work and mommy used to just support. Now there are so many families that is the women that are actually the ones in charge. So uh, let me see if my first guest, I'll be starting with um, Mrs. Dame Abimbala Fashion. Send me her request. I think so. She will be having her in a second. We're connecting with Dame Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mariah. Hi, hi. I That's see you're family. looking very well. You're looking great today. Thank you very uh -huh. much. You're wow, looking wow. well as well. <laughs> thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Ma, there's a lot to talk about to or also mission you are Lori because <laughs> because the truth is that um, as a woman, as a mother, as a wife, uh, I, was, I was saying earlier that we learn submission is important. But sometimes when you now enter the marriage. You now realize that this submission matter is at different levels. You know, there's submission in um, raising your children, submission in family training, submission in, in your husband's decisions, submission in life issues. So I'd like to start with you, Ma. In this, how would you, um, how have you been able to confront this issue of submission in your own marriage? Truly speaking, Morayo, uh, I don't ever think about submission. Okay. I think about values. I think okay. about what do you want your home to be like. Do you understand? So right. I've never actually thought about submission the way you are expressing it now. Mm. What, mm. This is what I stand for. This is what my husband stands for. We want to build a good home. We want to inculcate good values, good morals in our children. We want them to be responsible. We want them to know what integrity means, honesty and mm. all that. And that's the way I see submission. I, I, I mm. actually have never, never right. discussed submission or mentioned submission as a person. Okay, let me, let me, let me now go to something as basic as raising your children. Um, maybe your background is different from your husband's background. You know, he's from a certain family. They do things certain ways. And you know that you read books. You are exposed. You want your children to be in a certain way. And this man is saying, no, this is how I'm a Latino. You have to do that. Do that. And you're having issues. You're agreeing. So in that kind of situation, how do, how do you submit? Let's take it this way. Yeah. I am a Christian. Right. My husband is a Muslim. Right. Do you understand? My own belief is that you should not spare the Lord. Okay. You must discipline your children. Right. My husband comes from my home as well. 
that he believes that he must discipline the children. How do you discipline your children? You define it yourself. It's not from where you are coming from now because the dynamics are different. Our children right. are very, very different. They, they get information from all sorts of angles. And right. remember that the children we are raising now, really, it's not what you tell them or what you say, this is what you, what you should be doing, this is the way you should live your life, that they do. While they are with you and you can see them, they do that. But when they are not with you, they do other things. So all mm -hmm. you need to do is first, encourage your children in the way of the Lord. Teach right. them. Let them know themselves. Let them realize who God is in their lives. And then from there, exhibit those things you believe is firm and can always structure their lives in a godly way. And for mm. as long as you live through that, your children will see that. And one day, would say, I just want to be like mommy and daddy. I don't want any trouble. I just want to be doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. Remember that they would have challenges because as, as parents as well, we do right. have challenges. So well, now your husband is a Muslim. How did you yeah. handle that? How did you, first of all, as a Christian, they tell you, do not be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. So how did you go and get an unbeliever as a husband? How did that happen? That's why I'm telling you, it depends on what you believe in. These are all man-made laws. The Bible <laughs> itself, it's, love in the Bible is unconditional. But what's up there in the Bible? If we don't be unequally yoked, what's up there? We said that one no, in the Bible. No, if, if, you are, if God, if Jesus Christ himself right. came for the believers, then mm. he wouldn't have any new disciples. Right. He wouldn't have That's new true. disciples. Mm. So we mm. must always have knowledge and have the wisdom as well. You won't, win new, you won't win new souls if you are only speaking to those who are redeemed. Okay. Do you All understand? Right. So, so we understand one what... day we will get there. Okay, so hopefully very soon in the future we'll see maybe our, our daddy minister will become a Christian. But let's leave that one aside. Now, when it comes to um, men not listening to their wives, you see when, they, you see when it comes to submission, when you are talking about submission to a man, mm. you say, ah, oh, they, they don't listen. Whatever, they do what they want to do. And I have that issue because sometimes it feels like your husband doesn't feel that you're making sense. Every little thing you say for them is like, Kilomodare, what you want to read at all? What is it? People see you like, oh, Mariah. But in the house, they're like, please, kill, 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 in the men not believing that we have value, we have something to give. Do you think that your husband does not think you have value? No, of course not. He does. He feels <laughs> I have value, but just that sometimes you say something and he just like 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 your like like your like 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 you like 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 and yeah, you both are, you are learning from one another. And trust me, it's not that the men don't understand us or that our husbands don't understand us. It's just that sometimes as women, because mm. we are very emotional and we always want to do things in our own mm. way. Right. So we immediately want to say, if I say this, so be it. And it must be done at the time you want it to be done. You mm. must understand that too that as a wife and as a married person, in a home, if you want peace in your home, you must know when you should speak. You must know yeah. when you can address some difficult issues that you think it's very difficult. But everything, like I always tell people and advise people, first communicate with your God. And then you have a soft landing with your husband. And then the other thing, you must always know the love language of your husband. Certain mm -hmm. things that I would do and get away with it with my husband. Some women will do it and don't get away with it. And most so, give, us a, I, give us an example. For example, now the functions when my husband was the governor and even up till date, the functions that I attend, functions that I go to, places that I go to, I don't seek permission from my husband to go because mm -hmm. I already understand what our family stands for. So places that would bring trouble to me or bring trouble to my home or cause some kind of uh, anger or whatever. I stay clear. Mm. So you must mm. understand what you stand for. You must know your values in life. And but Ma, in a situation whereby your husband is not um, working, for example, there are lots of women in that situation. 
-hmm. Sometimes it's difficult to submit to a man who is not doing anything. You see, there are some men that, okay, they are just struggling. It's their down season, we know. I'm on, yeah. But there are some people who want attention. They just, they just enjoy that, you know, that lazy, lazy they, they become so lazy and so comfortable with their husband, their wife. So sometimes a woman gets frustrated. So and so Ekme has become almost inept. Oh, like dear or anything. Why do I'm about to dominate in a house where I am trying to make rational decisions as a woman? Well, how do we play that out, especially in modern times? I'm sorry, Moriah. I would always go back to the Bible. Okay. The love in the Bible did not say you should love or, uh, you should love somebody conditionally because the person has money, because the person is bringing in money. So therefore, that is when you should show love to the person. You should understand that sometimes when the man can actually not do anything right, there must be some underlining factor. There would be a problem that the man is finding it very difficult to share with the wife. So we must always have a level-headed family whereby whatever any one of you is going through, you should be able to share it. I always tell my friends, if you cannot tell your children the sort of job you are doing, then it means there's struggle <laughs> somewhere. You must always be able to express to your children how you end up living so that they mm. know what you can afford and what you cannot afford. Mm. So if you cannot mm. afford it, you cannot afford it. If their friends, their parents are affording it or not. So for that man not being able to contribute financially into the house, there must be something else that man can do. It's just because we women are always very aggressive. We compare ourselves a lot. It's as if we are in a competition in our marriage. This person is carrying this designer bag. This person is carrying this. No, I don't agree with you. I don't agree. Uh, I don't agree. Well, I've me... seen so many. I've seen yeah. so many. Mm. So, you see, it's you understanding your own marriage and making it work. Mm. There are mm. no two marriages that are alike. There are mm. no two marriages that are and alike. Now... Even if you do all that I am saying, mm. it may not work for you. It may be a different thing that the wife wants. It may be a different thing that the woman wants, uh, the husband wants. So you must always know your love language. It's love language, please. Mm. You must always work out your own marriage. Don't mm. say because my husband, my mommy and my daddy, they stayed there 15 years, they stayed 60 years, so it's going to be for me. No, 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 mm. no, no. Mm. As you lay your bed, so but you ma, are... But isn't there a place where the men are also meet us halfway? The men well, also at some the point... The Bible did not say that men should submit to. The Bible said men is should... Is it submit one to another? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. It's in my own Bible, Bible though. There are, there are four, almost four passages for husband and wife. Four or five. Everyone will tell you, wife submit. But husband, love your wife as you love yourself. So if any wife, husband is beating the wife, you are beating yourself. Is any, if any husband is maltreating the wife, the man is maltreating himself. Because remember that even in the Bible, it says that if anyone who finds a good wife, anyone who finds a wife finds a good thing, so why do you want to destroy the good thing? Ma, I want us so, to get personal. I don't we'll let them so you have to go at the Bonny Church. Pass us the pitch, Siwa. I want you to tell us I your own story. My, that's the way I live my life. For that real? That is who I am. Yes, that is who I am. If you see my husband ask him, he's going to tell you. If he does anything, I'll tell him. It's God that I will report you to. I don't have any other person. I will report so when, you to. So, so when, when your husband has girlfriends outside, what do you, how do you handle that situation? Does he have, has he ever had girlfriends outside? I don't know about that because I've never okay. heard that. I have oh, really? on the most on the most really? news, I have never heard that. And I will share a story with you. Yes. Before my husband became governor and all that, we used to have a joke in my house. Mm. Because when my husband is going out, he will say, ah, Bimbola Mutin Low, and I'll tell him, ah, Watao, Ekimo Lo, you understand that he's going yeah. to sell. You will yeah. uh, you will sell low, your market will go well for you, or you will win <laughs> the dividends to us at home, you know. So that's the joke we exchange right. when he's going right. out and all right. that. Right. So, on this particular day, one of his close friends came in and he heard us and I was saying, ah, Shea, is like the fish you are going to eat. I mean, which fish are you going to eat today? <laughs> you know, he was so shocked. He heard it the first time. He heard it the second time. And then he said, what sort of family is this? <laughs> but that is this sort of joke. I, mm. My husband and I, we exchange and things like right. that. So life is not that difficult at all. I have mm. never heard him 
I've never had anybody come and tell me, your husband is dating this person. Mm. If he's mm. dating anybody, I do not know. This is an open floor now. I don't okay. know who is dating. Me, I'm not aware either. It was me that time that he was governor. Man, bro. Me, I have never got him to laugh. say, somebody told me you are dating this. I have never taken his phone to say I'm checking it. Mm. Because I come from the school of thought, what you don't know does not hurt you. Right. So why am I sneaking right. on to taking, taking his phone and wanting to know things that I don't need to know? But my, do you get that pressure as a woman? Because sometimes as, you're, as, a, as a wife, you feel that pressure of looking the parts of the side chick. You know how you feel as if well, you, you, look, you look very attractive, the weave, you look have this fashion. You, go, you always seem to be very, very homely looking. I just wonder be that. But do you feel like, wait, I'm a girl, I want to come in, but I check on you. Wouldn't, wouldn't they have some kind of influence on him? Don't you always have that fear at the back of your mind somewhere? Not at all, Moraya. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It has <laughs> never crossed my mind before. I, I met somebody, was it this year? Early this year. Yeah. Think, and was saying, ah, Emini, my girlfriend, you're And I said, beautiful. And she was shocked. She expected me to react, and I said no. So she called her friend that she came to the place with, and was saying, "I told this uh, our first lady." I say, "Ah, because some people still say the first lady." I say, okay, first yeah. lady, they be in trouble, you know." So the, she, I, she now told her friend. She told me that she's my husband's girlfriend, and I said, "Well, good luck to you," and all that. So she was shocked, that, and then the friend said, oh, "You don't know this woman. All that one does not concern her. That she's a mm. free." Uh, She's a free person, so she doesn't mm. care about such things and all. Because mm. when you start to think like that, mm. even if there isn't, you will be convincing yourself that there's something. Mm. And you will be looking forward to somebody coming to tell you something. And yeah. tell me, how, how does that help you? Mm. How does that mm. help you? Mm. So it depends on what you want out of life. Mm. And mm. the way you want your home to be. That's Mark, you. there are issues of finances. Um, or all, when, because when it comes to money issues, I mean, it's a lot time. of families. This is Ma? the second time mentioning money. Oh, I did? I did. <laughs> You've mentioned money before. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, my husband can afford to take rent vacation. They can afford it. The man, just because of the mentality, of this, this is okay, just having and holding money. So, Mariah, I can't hear you clearly. I can't hear you clearly. You are breaking. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Uh -huh. yes. yes. Same. There was a thing I met. How about an afford? Ooh. Can't hear can you me. anymore. It's Let breaking. Can you hear me? Can you, can you hear me now? Am I, am I good now? now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, please. Very good. Yes, please. So I met a lady who told me that her husband can afford a, a vacation to take their kids abroad for a vacation. They can afford it. But the man refused. Not because they can't afford it, but because he just still has this mentality. What's the, and she's like, it's not about trying to spend money. It's about the kinds of experience our children can have. They can learn from this experience. It's exposure beyond just the exposure and all. So spend this money. So she has submitted year one, year two, year three. And she's getting frustrated. So why, why, in that kind of situation, how do you meet your husband? How do you ensure, tell your husband the need for this exposure for your children? On moral. Hmm. Um, I can share an experience in that. We used to travel every year. And there was this particular year my husband said, we are not traveling anymore. Let's stay at home. I could have said, no, we must travel and all that. But because he said, let's stay at home, I felt it's reasonable as well. Every year traveling, let's cut it off so that the children can understand that it's not every year that you need to travel. But in our own case, because the husband can afford it and the husband is just been wanting to save, you know, maybe the man yeah. is an accountant because I know accountants, yeah. they, like no. mm. <laughs> they don't like to spend money. They don't like to spend money, it's all over, you know. But there, there are ways you can win it over. Why mm. the woman can actually say, okay, let them go for some kind of educational tour yeah. instead of vacation. Outside, yes. Instead of playing around or whatever. Oh, they can go to this place. There's a school, 
uh, the school is asking them to visit this uh, museum. They will learn this thing here. Visit mm -hmm. this country. They can learn this thing. You know, maybe everything you have to do to such a man or for such a man to mm -hmm. spend money, you must be getting something back. Mm. So, it's, mm. you know our own vacation, the way we do vacation in Nigeria, the moment we travel out like this, it's shops. Yes. We yes. go shopping, shopping. So, if everyone is like me, you will bring your own excess luggage. <laughs> back, you know? So, yeah, yeah. Right. the woman must first find how to get that, you know, that button, the husband's mm. button. Mm. There are some buttons oh, that women can yeah, not teach press. Me, teach me how to do that button. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> when I was on how to, how do you identify the button in your husband? How? That is why I'm telling you, you must know your own love language that the moment you get there, the man will say yes. Hey, and to say, have this button on Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you must have to have your own button. Marriage that you have stayed in, one year, two years, three years, 25 years, you must have your button the way you press. You, there, there are some expressions you will do and your husband do you, will say, do you ever fight? Do you ever fight? Do we ever fight? Yes. Really? Really? How is that possible? Really? In, but in the early days, in, in the early days, in we, 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 we fought once, but it's not that kind of fight. Do you understand? Yeah. It's like we get angry at each other. And then I remember saying that I would go and report him to his father. And he said, the moment you get there, don't come back home. You start to live there. <laughs> and that was the last time I mentioned yeah. such. Mm. So anytime mm. we have any quarrel or whatever, we resolve it. it within the day, we don't even sleep over it. We mm. don't sleep over it. Mm. We don't sleep over it. We resolve it just jokingly, just forget about it and move on. Does your husband have bad habits? Let me tell you, let me tell you the reason why I asked that. Some women have complained that on our habits come that are just horrible and just it's difficult to adjust. Maybe somebody that digs his nose or is uh, <laughs> just funny, funny behavior that as a wife, you have to just mojukuro. And that mojukuro <laughs> sometimes is, is, is extremely difficult. How, I mean, does, does your husband have any of those things or how did you manage it? Bad well, I don't know. Um, well, I could say he used to bite his fingers, but he stopped mm. that a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. Right, you know? right. And for men who have such things, you get used to it. It's like you saying that you are living with somebody now. You don't have anywhere to go. You won't mm. mojukuro. If you don't mojukuro, every day quarrel. Right. But if that does not say that you won't mention it once in a while. You are doing this thing again. You remember you said you were going to stop it. You're doing this mm. thing again. Right. You know? And that thing that my husband does as well. My children do it as well. So the moment I see them, I say, you are biting your fingers again. Why are you biting your fingers? Mm. This COVID itself now, you can't bite fingers. So you are not allowed to put anything on your face. You know, your hand can't go on your face and all. No, there's something that somebody told me that um, there's some men that like to show up. You know, ah, me, we don't have enough money. Our manager, our, <laughs> but you want the world to think that we are these very rich people. So you buy a fancy car, you know, you dress up, with, you spend all our money looking the part. When me as a wife, I'm struggling to make <laughs> ends meet to ensure that we can manage. Manage. Now, as a woman, they'll tell you to submit. How do you submit to that kind of man that is just totally careless and very, very um, that is not very, very prudent. How, how do you submit to that kind of man? Morayo, you will submit to... Eh. You will submit. And be spending because like that. Eh. All, all, all that I am saying, because I believe so much in my Bible, I don't have any other stronghold. We are all very needy people. And it is only God that can satisfy us. It's only Jesus Christ that can satisfy us. So you have to submit because the Bible did not say that you should submit because of this or submit because of that. Right. Submit to your husband as the husband submits, uh, as the church submits to God. Do you understand? Mm. So mm. if you don't know what submission is, you won't take out anything from submission. But mm. what you can always do, and that is what I have practiced to date, I put everything in the hands of my God. You know, man. when you when, when you when you go to that man, no, on a more serious note, Murayo, we don't have any other thing. It's only God that can solve all our problems. Definitely. Your husband cannot solve it. Your parents cannot solve it. Your children cannot solve it. We are yeah. all very needy people. Trust yeah. me, Murayo, as we are talking, if you have everything in the world, you are the number one billionaire, you are this, you are always still in need. 
Because there is that bad thing. And until you hold on to your God, mm. Mm. who satisfies us, mm. Mm. you would mm. know that there's nothing in this world that you will take away. And COVID has mm. shown us. Yeah. COVID mm. has shown us. All that we fight for, we do run about, do everything. Did we not sit at home? Did we die? <laughs> Did we die? All those things we have bought, I need, I need this, I need that, I need the best car, I need to change my car, I need to do... They are all vanity. Mm. So In the that. long run, they are all vanity. Mm. So that so, man, you just mm. put, keep praying for him. Secretly, not in front of him. Oh. Not in front of him. Because Tell me about your prayer life. My prayer, prayer life. life. How do you do it? Probably time will a man, time will a man pray. How do you pray? Just tell us. I That's pray all I time. Mariah, I pray all time. If I mm. sit down, I'm not watching, relaxing, I'm watching programs, watching TV shows or whatever. I just continue to pray. Every way, for as long as you are alive, you pray. Has it always been like that? Have you always, because there's a time where I just feel like people or a prayer. Eee. I'm not, I'm not. Let me tell you the truth. Time. Yeah. With COVID, I switched mm. off. All I was doing was just playing Sonia and all that. I just needed something to make me happy, to bring yeah. out the best in me. Right. I just took right. that out. And then for me to focus and do all those, my devotions and all, I just kept them aside and said, God, on this note, I give it all to you. But mm. I need to live life. And life mm. needs to come through me so that mm. I can pass it on to the children as well and say, it is not so bad. We need mm. to be alive. So I need so, needed lively music. And that's so why I spoke. I heard all those praise songs that they're always doing BJ Sags, um, Talk by Alabi, all of them. You know, Faith Band. Um, mm. What's this other one? You know, I just Sugar was band. listening to everybody. Yes, I just was listening to everybody. Yeah. And catching so you like on to dance. Only. So you like to dance. I like to dance. I like to dance. But I, yeah. all those who, are, who play know that I love to dance to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's very interesting to have a conversation with you. But now, for those who are not married, what should we look out for? Because there are many young girls out there that get really confused about this issue of submission. And in this life, the truth is that we, women work so hard. A lot of young girls, if you go to schools right now, best graduating students are usually girls. Girls are doing so well in their companies. We have the high flyers, we drive big cars, we're doing so well. And then you are dating a guy. And he wants you to start doing, you know, I mean, it's, it's very confusing for a single woman. How can a single woman, how, how do you know the right man to settle down with in this, in this new dispensation of the fact that you are just as empowered as he is? Hmm. You're paying your own bills. Morayo, can you marry your degree? I can't marry my degree, but can I you marry time, your car. No, I cannot. But let me give you an example of my own personal story. Because sometimes when me and my husband have a fight, and he says some things, and I'm like, hey, please, you marry somebody who is rational, money brain. Don't expect me to just keep quiet. Everything you say, I'll just keep quiet. So you want to be arguing. I will say something. You know, it's not every time. It's not every time. It's not every time. You, you are lucky. Your husband understands you. But well, it's not every time you have to do that. Sometimes you just let it be. Sometimes if you let it be, they will trample be. on you, ma. If you let it be, they will ah, make, make you look as if you Why did I go to school? Why are you what? educated? Why did Can I you marry school? Can you marry your school? Can you marry your school? That's what the submission is all about. You leave all those things that you have acquired. You know, you acquired all that. Yes, ma. You acquired all that. You are not acquiring man. In a way, you have married him, but you are not acquiring him. So you must always give him that space. That is where the submission comes in because you put aside all those things that you have acquired. Yeah. And you now be a missus. So that missus, you must leave it the way you want it to give you peace. So Please for those who are young, mm -hmm. who are mm -hmm. looking for husbands, they must first not think about that submission because for as long as you continue to think about submission in that way, you will find it very difficult to surrender to a man. Mm. You will find it difficult. That's why I tell you, I don't even, there are certain words I don't even allow to be said in my house. Mm, like, like children now, I don't let them say you are lying. 
Because the moment you start to say that, you would have trust issue. So mm. you can use another word, but don't ever say somebody has lied. Right. Mm. So if you are talking to me now, the way we are uh, talking and all now, Mariah, all that we have said, I do not think you have said any lie or told me any lie or told me anything mm. that is out of place. Right. And that's right. the way my brain functions. So if somebody mm. now tells me, oh, yes. you have another agenda or you have something or something, I don't always agree with it. Mm. Because mm. I, don't, I don't come from that school of thought. Whatever you tell me, I cherish it and I hold it and this is what is happening. So until somebody now says, and then I ask you and I say, ah, somebody told me that this thing that you said, that wasn't the way it happened and all that. Mm. I wouldn't even say, why did you lie? I would just say, oh, you didn't tell me the facts. Mm. I so I have to... to very well. I have to wrap up with you very soon because I don't want. I'm bringing, I'm bringing. I mean, we're learning so much from you at the same time. I want to grab as much as possible. But so, Mark, you say that you don't check your husband's phones. You're I not don't. Paranoid. I don't. And my husband can pick my own phone. I don't. It's got nothing to what? do with me. Is his phone? It's not my phone. Is his phone? It's not my phone. What's my business with his phone? Because you're his wife. You're his second half. His phone is your phone. It's you not should my see. phone. Sorry, it's not my phone, and he doesn't touch my phone. He doesn't touch my phone. Wow. wow. So do to others what you want them to do to you. So if we come mm. from that school of thought, right. we have to respect one another. That's what love mm. is all about. Right. We have right. to respect each other's space. Okay. Okay. If I want so my not, husband's you're trouble. You're not with your husband right now. You're not with your husband right now. I've not been with my husband for eight, eight weeks now. So, Anzi, tell me now. How can you buy like eight whole weeks? You've yeah. not seen a guy in eight uh -huh. weeks? Uh-huh. If what I travel happened? out and go, if I travel out and go for vacation, does he go with me? What's happening in the other room? Uh? Which I'm other room? Worried. The other I'm room. not worried though, like... because when you get to a certain age, the other room does not matter to you anymore. You become friends. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> That's ah, it, my dear. Room matter, oh. eh? That's, That's it, enough. my dear. For real? That's it's it, very my important. dear. Oh wow, interesting. Oh, thank you so much, Ma, for educating us. Like, I don't have to give up too long. <laughs> but we're going to keep coming to you, Ma, because... No trouble. Just, the reason why I told you was I wanted to bring you up because more women need to hear people like you speak. We need role models because we always see the negative people out there saying a lot of things. So we need more women like you who have... You, you, you live life that we love and respect. And we need more of you to be speaking with us. So we'll definitely look on you soon. My Glad pleasure, more Brian. To us. My pleasure, Thank you Brian. so much, man. Take love you so much. Love, love, love to your bless family. You. Love to All right. You. Go. Take care. God All bless right. you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> so we've been speaking with um, Mrs. Odem Abimbola Fashola. Have you guys learned from that? We'll be bringing in Mrs. Ajimobi very soon. I'm waiting for her to cue me in. Oh, my mom is there. When you have one bear. Mommy, are you there? Yeah, cuz. Only one bear. You're today, Daniel. Hi, you're today. I want a mini here. Let me see. Wow. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? So, I'm waiting for Mrs. Ajimobi to. How do I see if she's waiting for me? Where is. What's the name? Mrs. Florence Ajimobi is not there yet. It's okay. So, wait for her to. But in the meantime, let me just get a few people. Let me say, let me say hello to a few people. Let's go to Bimbo. Wow, we're waiting for Mrs. Ajimobi. Hi, Bimbo. Hi, Amelia. Hi, there's a dog. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry, I, I think I mistakenly cut her off. Oh, my goodness. I was trying to... Oh my God, was he shaking me? I'm so sorry, Bimbola. I mistakenly cut her off. I'm so, so sorry. Let me see. I'm waiting for Mrs. Ajimobi to come in. So once she does, we'll continue our conversation. But let me just hear your thoughts on... Bimbola, I'm so sorry that I cut you off. I do apologize for that. Let me... This is um, Jay Abosede. Trying to get in Jay Abosede. Um... To join in the conversation. What are your general thoughts on this? Um, so obviously, Ms. Fashola has told us that she and her husband have an understanding. She's been away from her husband for eight whole weeks. And she's not worried about the other room. Okay, this is Ajibobi is here. Um, mm -mm. 
Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good to have you on. Hi. How are you? Very, very well. So, can you hear me? I can hear you very clearly. Did you listen to my conversation with Mrs. Fashola? I did. I did. Yeah. So, we're going my to... stand friend. <laughs> I know, I know. And I know I told, and I want you, especially, I didn't want you to focus on the Bible, but I know you cannot but talk about the Bible. But the truth is that um, I'm going to start this conversation all over again with you. And the reason I'm doing that is because I would like you to bring it from a different perspective, from the perspective from of the woman own today. From perspective, from yes, the way I from see the, Yes, the way, how do you understand this role of submission, especially in today's times? Let me start with that. Thank you very much. And um, for me, I think a woman should submit to her husband. Marriage is not a master and servant relationship. Okay. It's two people that have fallen in love and have decided to spend the rest of their life together. And in any relationship, there is what we call leadership. The Bible says, you know, I told you that there's no way we can shy away from the Bible. In Ephesians 5, it says, yeah. wives, your husband and the same Ephesians tells us that husbands love your wife as Christ loved the church and gave his life so if we have that and you accept him as a senior partner then what is submission if you love somebody unconditionally why would you not submit to him and you can submit in a nice way like Mrs. Fashola said you know it is the approach the way we handle it that is the problem you can still have your way while submitting to your husband. So I don't, I, don't, mm. I don't understand when people say that submission is a problem. For me, I've been married for 40 years. 40 good years to the same guy. And I keep <laughs> saying it too, there's reincarnation and we marry this guy over and over again. So now, let, me, so let me let you share your own personal story too. Because um, you're a fine woman. Educated, exposed, and... Um, your husband is a Muslim, you're a Christian. How do you submit to a man who is, maybe that you don't have the same level of experience, or I'm not saying that's, that's your own experience, but how do you submit to a man who is not your level, probably doesn't have the same educational background as you? Yes, you fell in love with him, circumstances of life brought him together. But how do you submit to somebody who's not at the same level as, as, as you? You met him not at your level when you married him, right? Yes. Uh, so you know what you're going in for. Now, you know what you are yeah. going in for. You married somebody that is not at your level. So there shouldn't be a problem. You loved him not being at your level. You knew where he was standing. So why should that be a problem? Mm. And you know, a lot of people, they know what you are going, they, what they're going into. And when they get in, they want things to be different. It's not possible. That's not magic. It's not rocket science. Marriage Boom. is all about understanding one another it's friendship going into marriage and when you love somebody when he's your friend sometimes you let go sometimes you don't have your ways it's not mm. all the time you have your ways but if you know how to handle the man very well you can always have your way i mean for me when my husband is all and all and all and all and on and i really want to have my way i can start crying ah I start, and i know Ah, auntie, uh, oh, like chef of you see, that is what I'm saying. We are married to different people. Different people. But right. you must know your man. You must know what can get to your husband. You can you must know what you say <laughs> to your husband that will melt his heart. But we mm. don't take time to study it. We must That's study true. our husbands and know their body language. Mm. But I want to say something. Knock on every door, knock on every wall. There's a story. Degree can be different, the level can mm. be different, but they are not too far from each other. Hmm. So Very true. We, we, you can't say your husband is the worst man. No. He must have his own good person. So if you know he's so bad, why did you marry him? Okay, 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 and that's why for me, people must go for counseling. That's the problem. Counseling, marriage counseling is very important. Ma, we women, we go for counseling. We have no problem with counseling. It's our men that we don't go for counseling. My husband yeah. went for counseling. If he loves you, he will go with you. My husband went for counseling with me. Hmm. He went for counseling mm. because he knows that is the only condition to marry me. He went. I cannot marry without counseling. So he went with me. Mm. Mm. Doesn't make but it less a man. Ah, but many men feel that way. They always move on. What do they always tell me about marriage? But now, let, let's come to a situation where a woman 
Because today, many women are more empowered than their husbands. You started off a marriage, both of you are at the same age, both of you are banters. You're doing very well. And life happened to your husband. He lost his job and he's frustrated. And you are still doing very well. He gets very touchy when you go out with your, maybe your clients. He gets very touchy. He gets insecure about your job, what your, your, your promotions. And his self-esteem is diminishing. But because of your role, you want to take certain rational decisions for the family, on behalf of the family. Now, as a woman on that level, how can you, can you still submit? And how does submission play out? In that kind of situation, if you find is it when, when the man is out of job, it is not a permanent thing. It's a phase, and it will pass away. It is your how you can endure during that period. I can be the all in one, all in all in my office. I can be the boss. I can shout at everybody. I can control a hundred men. But when I get home, I know my boundary. I know that this man is the head of this home. For as long as you realize that, I don't think there will be any problem. But a lot of women, I keep saying it, I cancel a lot of young girls. And I think the problem is they don't understand their man and they are not ready to understand. I have three mm -hmm. daughters, they are married. And I know what I go through, canceling them, you know. And they say, mommy, we are not a drama like you. Drama is all day. And to man, boom, or corny, that is how yes. you see it. But yes. it does but and Tongba Mokuni that has kept me for 40 years and I am happy in this 40 years. It's not as if there are moments that I don't have my days, I don't have my moments, I don't have days my husband upsets me, I don't have days that he makes me cry. But even as that, mm. I know how to handle my Ma, situation. Eje ki soro, go, 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 because my mother, thank God my mother is actually on and I know she's going to fast, spank me for this thing I'm about to say. But my mother was the first wife. Now, did she, my mother did this so before she doesn't talk, she lets the man rule over her. But the truth is, my stepmother got the best of my mother or my father. He, she, he built her a house in her village in somewhere. You know, she he, the house she lives in, he, has, he built the house for her. The, the house my mother lives in, my mother built it with her own money. So if you want to yeah. now assess, my mother really, I would say she didn't, she didn't probably get the best of that man. And she was the quote unquote show the fuck up. The other woman was a firecracker and trying to say, but Papa Kauti, but Pomsi is already in line. Pomsi stands in line. So when we hear this kind of stories, I don't want to be out there for any, for any man. I don't want to go through that. So when I hear people like you say, eh, was, wa, 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 ni, teri, ba, ni, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. But are you equal partners? If you don't tell me, well, no, you call partner. senior you partner. Have. You are partners. You are both partners, but there's a senior partner. And what you are saying about your mom, she ripped the fruit of motherhood over her children. Sometimes you do some things to get something else, something greater. The children are greater for me. My children are greater for me. I'm from a broken home. And I made up my mind right from day one that this marriage must never fail. This marriage, whatever it takes, I am going to keep it. That was my own decision. That was what I wanted. And I walked to the letter, you know. I knew what I wanted and I went for it. So if you feel that you don't want this marriage again, then why did you go into it? Hmm. I'll give an example of my daughter, one of my girls. I know they won't like it. She said she was complaining to me that eh, her husband, you know, he's not like daddy. That when he comes back from work, he goes and he's watching football. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't say if he's watching football, go and sit on the floor and watch football with him. But I don't like football. Uh -huh. So do you want him to come and sit in the kitchen with you? We must stoop to conquer, please. They are not fools. These men are not crazy. If a man says that his wife is always doing what he wants, one day you will see that he will just change. I don't hmm. like watching wrestling. My husband watches wrestling every time when we first got married. And he comes out from what well, the same thing my daughter was complaining about. And then I go and sit with him, and then I'm watching, and then I would say, yeah, 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 you are disturbing me, you are disturbing me, please. <laughs> and then I knew that I'm not meant to talk when he's watching the rest. I love right. to watch Nigerian movies. You know, mm. so with time, he started watching Nigerian movies with me, and then I started converse, have conversation with him when he's watching, because those are my own golden moments. He was always a very, he's always been a busy man from day one of my marriage to him. So mm. you have to look for, you know, the mm. right way to catch your husband. Mommy, is a virtue. Hmm. This generation, hmm. I am saying it with all sense of 
responsibility to God yeah. that this generation are very impatient. Very, very, mm. very, very. TV, social, whatever yeah. is taking the lead. Ma, what of infidelity? When you know your husband is cheating on you, he's with a woman out there, mm -hmm. and there's a woman out there. How can I submit to a man who doesn't value me and is cheating on me? I don't want to be seen as a failure. I won't let him go. You won't let your husband I go. I will not I will not leave my husband for any woman. I will not even though you even I though will. you know he's he's sleeping with another woman. I will not know. I will not I can't I, I can't cut my husband sleeping with another woman. But even if I know, I will not go. <laughs> I have taken the vows. You, you see, when we are yeah. taking these vows, you know, a lot of us don't know what we are going into. For better, for worse. I think some churches have changed it now. They've changed it. They don't say, but that was my own vow. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. Till death do us part. So it guides me. And I remember once, you know, when I went to my pastor, I had a problem with my husband. And he said something which has guided me. I've been holding on to that, you know. He said, Mrs. Ajimobi, your home is your first ministry. If that marriage fails, mm. that home fails, you have failed as a Christian. And you know, so that's, mm. if, when he said it, I was crying because I felt bad and I, you know, I was expecting him to tell me something else. And the moment he said that, I mm. held on to it and it has, you know, helped me a lot in life. So anytime things don't work out the way I want, I just hold on to that. This home is my first ministry, so it must not fail. So whatever would make it shake or fail, I just, you know, guide against it. Mm. So for those of us that decide to leave, does it mean our failures? Sorry? Can you hear me? Why you Those decide of to us leave? that decide to leave, leave, does it mean our failures? I think if you, knew, if you knew better, you wouldn't leave because nothing is permanent. They would change. I went for a course in Harvard mm -hmm. some years back and I met a lady from Thai, Thailand and, you know, we were doing um, a case note, case study on the the MPA, you know, and uh, after the, the, after when we finished, she came to me, Florence, do you know what? If I had come for this course two years ago, I wouldn't have left my husband. And I said to her, mm. um, well, you can go back to him. I said, unfortunately, he got married to another woman last year and they had a oh. son together. It I think the course oh. was strategic leadership, concentrating on conflict. So what I'm saying mm. is, you know, if we handle things differently, it right. will not be the same, you know. So we, we, we must learn to persevere and we must right. learn to do things differently. The men, we must always try and boost their ego. I know some men can be very difficult. I quite agree and I understand as a mother, you know. And sometimes I'm so scared that I have three girls. I have four girls, sorry. Three are married. <laughs> One is single. And I feel for my children when they are going mm. through some things. But I keep telling them, and they call me a sexist. That's what my girls call me. Mommy, I think you're a sexist. sexist. Yes, that's the way they see me. But the older they get, they would appreciate mm. what I'm saying. What about keeping up with the Kardashians? Or no, no, keeping up with the, with the Joneses, looking, looking the part. Um, you know, as a woman, you're under pressure. You don't want your husband to go out. And you want to, there's a lot of makeup, looking good. I was sure, watch it, but watch it. Some of us, I do that. Too much I do that. Hey, Especially mama. when I'm wearing when I was pregnant, I was always trying to look good for my husband because I know that when I see some women during pregnancy, I don't like their looks. So when I'm pregnant, my makeup is very on point. I don't want him to mm. see me and get tired. I see some mm. women, they tie wrapper on their way. So I, I want to be attractive to him. I want him right. to see me and still shake. Even as old as I am, I'm 61. I still want the guy to see me. And sometimes he says, well, Mommy, why are you dressed like a young girl? I said, oh, for you. Did you like it? Get it, you know? So you must put a bit of spice in the relationship. Don't make it boring mm. for him. Don't make Let's him talk about sex. outside. Don't make him fed up. Let's talk about sex for a moment. On the, on the, on the matrimonial bed, can you submit to whatever it is your husband wanted to do? Because sometimes, eh, in this modern time, the kind of things men demand for in the bedroom is just... He's out of this world. So, so, so more like we can but it was demanding day from it was demanding from day one. That was his style of demand from day one. Why are you changing? Our own style has been the same for 40 years. He doesn't it hasn't changed. My husband has not mm -hmm. changed his style. So 
Mm. Something is changing. Mm. Sometimes I can say I'm tired, please. But I have to say it in a nice way. I have to say it in a nice way. It's not that you leave me alone. Okay, let me just lie down. Let me just do clinical and say, okay, you're tired. Okay, dear. You know, it's, 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 the, it's the approach. I think it's the approach. He's not mm. a crazy man. He's not a crazy man. He's not wicked. He, you are his wife. You are his friend. He loves you so much. He wouldn't want to hurt you. So if you tell your husband you are tired, why not? He will let you go. But you can't be saying you are tired, you are tired, you are tired every day. Even when I mm. don't want to, if it's once, if I, I would run, I said no yesterday, so I'll just manage myself, package myself well today. So that he can My enjoy husband, himself because I don't want him to go elsewhere. Right. Your husband is a Muslim. How did that happen? But that's only quality yoga. You and Auntie Bimbo. No, when I met my husband, he was a no, we're we are, you know, we are sisters, we are friends, and we have a lot of she's yes. a confident she was a confidential secretary, and I also was a confidential secretary. She's oh. married to a Muslim, I'm married to a Muslim, and she's a Catholic, I'm a yes. Catholic. So we have a lot of things in common. Wow. For my when I met my husband, he was a Christian. He had to be a Christian to oh, marry me. Okay. So he told me he was a Christian and we got married. And after that, he went back to his religion. But it has not changed anything in my family. Honestly, yeah, it, has not, it, doesn't, it doesn't disturb me. No, I don't flaunt my religion. You know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know my boundary. My girls are Christians. It's just my son that changed to Islam when he was going to marry, when he fell in love with a Muslim girl. And I have no problem with that. I cannot condemn her or, or ask him not to be a Muslim when my husband is a Muslim. Great. And I am Great. happy to be married to a Muslim. I am very, very happy. This Muslim is one with a difference. And, you know, it's the same God anyway. Can you hear me now? Okay, I think it's better. Yes, I can. Yeah. Now, so for some people are asking, what of your husband is domestic? I mean, he's, um, he's violent with you. What, what if you're going through a situation of domestic violence in your house? How do you, do you keep that much? Right? Yes. I, my, 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 I mean, I, I remember an instance when I, I said something very helpful to my husband and I knew, I mean, the moment it came out of my mouth, I knew it was wrong, I knew it was bad, and I, I could see anger in his face. And I just ran, I locked myself in the toilet and, you know. <laughs> And he said, why? He said, ah. he said, no, come out, come out. Have I ever hit you? So, I mean, you, should, you, you know, you don't say things that will bring out the worst in the man. You know, we should, we should mind what we say to them. Some of them can mm -hmm. control their anger. Some of them cannot. But when you know that you are married to somebody that, you know, is very short-tempered, when you do things that you know that yeah, I have gone beyond my boundary, just run away or why would you wait till a man is being violent? You know, I don't agree. I don't support it. I mm. condemn it totally. But I'm not going to find myself in that situation where a man will start hitting me. So you are saying two things. Don't find yourself in that situation. Number two, if for whatever reason, your man is a crazy man. Salo, and just begins to salo, beat you. Salo, really say. Salo, salo. <laughs> don't wait. Don't should... dare him. You don't okay. dare an angry man. Don't dare him. Mm. He's very angry. Mm. Don't dare him. I won't wait for a man mm. to start beating me or punching me. Wow, no, I will not. Fantastic. I will not. Fantastic. Never. Hmm. No, because so can you see my color? What would they be? And with the moment they start beating me, you find scars <laughs> all over me. So I don't want that. I don't want to spoil my beautiful face. Wow. So you're telling me that there's no woman out there that can take you, that can take your husband from you. It's there's no possible. woman. Even if you ask wow. him, he will tell you no. They can't compete with me. No way. Wow. No way. Wow. That's I a good way to say it. Too. I spoil him so much. Tell me how you spoil know. your husband so we can learn. I'd like to uh, learn how you spoil your husband now. Tell me. Uh, I call, I'll I call him. His, come I dish it. I, before he eats the first one, I say, how is it? Is it nice? You know, I shake for him. I shake because I love him. I love when he's happy. I love when he eats my food and he smiles. I want to pamper him like a mother would pamper a child. You know, I arrange oh, that his wahala. Well, I Because you're not a 9 to 5 worker. Really? Sorry, you're not a 9 to 5 worker. I have a 9 to 5 yeah. before. I did it in my early days. I did it for five years when I first got married. I did it. I cut his hair. I cut his hair. I'm his barber. I'm his uh, stylist. For Everything. real? I, I, I buy his... Yes, ask him. I buy his wow. clothes. I ask my children. I buy his clothes. I buy his shoes. It doesn't so you can kneel down for him? Why not? 
why Jesus not? Christ. If I upset, it's not any. It's not something when I'm when I know I've done something wrong. I can say John to your lawyer. My don't forget, my husband is ten years older than I am. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a baby. So if I right. kneel down and say sorry to him, it means nothing to me. He's old enough right. to be my old yeah, old but... brother that I don't even have. So I'm the first one in my family, and he's he's. His two immediate sisters are way back older than I am. Wow. So wow. what is wrong in oh. me respecting him? We're he's learning, we're learning. Wow. He's we're going learning to be 71 from you. And I turn 61. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. So when he, he, well, sometimes when he gives me my children's school fees, I say thank you very much. Some men don't pay their children's school fees and they're still the father of those children. So I appreciate mm. him when he just thinks that you think it's his duty. No. If he doesn't pay, won't you look mm. for your children's school fees? There are men that don't pay. So if you have a man that is responsible, mm. let him know you appreciate him. And even when he pays, mm. tell your children to say, thank you, daddy. Mommy said you paid my school fees. But before I go, man, I mean, because we have to wrap up very soon, it seems that there's so much for us women to do. We, man, we are, our Nicole and she, we are all our families. As if the men are not doing anything. They just sit back like kings. And we are the ones to do all the work. It's, it's, it's a quite a bit of a burden for us, for many modern women, don't you think? They are crown on their head. They are indeed kings. You are the crown. And you, the crown can place that crown the way it wants. If you don't place it well, there will be no proper king. There will be no accurate king. We don't do everything. I don't want to be a man because I don't want to be paying house rent. I don't want to be paying school fees. I don't want to be giving everybody money. You know, I don't right. want to be that. I want to be taken from him. And I have my own role. So there are things I give my children that my husband doesn't believe in. If they want to go and do their hair, they tell me it is this one. My husband will say, eh, for what? And mm. I can give them behind. But the wow. major things that he should do, he does. And I right. must give him kudos. If he doesn't do it, he's still the father of those children. Wow. He's wow. still daddy. Mm. Yeah, so you find he's a responsible done. man. You know, give him when it lapses, try and understand. Let us accept mm. each other for who we are. You met mm. a man that snores, and then before you married, you, maybe he dozed up on the chair and he was not snoring. And you went ahead and married him. And when you get married, you want him to stop snoring. There's no rocket science, please. Quick one, do you believe in sex? Women know what they are going into. They know Quick what one. they are going into. When do you believe in sex there, before marriage? Pay. Sex before marriage. Sorry? Sex before marriage, do you agree with that? Not do you think now. it's a good not now? Mm. Not now, not now. Mm. We've not given now. our lives to Christ, and yeah. the church does not preach that anymore. Yeah. So, Thank you so much, Ma, for joining us today. It's a pleasure Thank learning you from so you. Much. I don't want to go beyond nice one hour because today. it's important for us to let you go back and do other things. But thank you. We've learned a lot from you. I will be bringing you back home. I've told uh, Miss Marshall no like that. Anytime, we need people anytime, like you, anytime, people like you to be speaking to us. To yes. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Have a lovely day. Okay. Have God a bless lovely you. week. God bless you. you. All right. Bye. 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 So we've been speaking with two women, and I'd like to get people into calling here. Um, Shil, I know this is almost an hour, so I need you to do that switchover thing. That is an hour. So we can do the thingy. So we can save it, and then we're not taking other calls. And, and 